Hey guys, it's me, Rena Wells, your medicine woman and highly intuitive. I am sorry that I did not put videos up this week. I too have been going through a massive cleanse, basically severe awakening with headaches and not being able to get out of bed, um, and also a lot of dream state work, and also still trying to serve my clients at the same time. So this is why the YouTube videos are late this week. But I am back and cleared and I can tell you there is a lot of shift happening for the Twin Flame community. There is a lot of aspects happening with Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. So I'm going to get right into the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. I feel I may have to do other videos as well. We'll see how Spirit leads and guides. Um, I will get next week with the channel teachings for that because the, with my own growth, I'm getting a lot more of awareness as well. So please know that I do go through my own growth. I just don't come here and read. I'm on this path with you guys. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm super excited also to introduce my brand new tarot deck. I'm also getting um, a twin flame deck that I have just also finished. It's a message deck with yin and yang balanced message readings. I'm super excited about that. Um, so this is my new tarot deck. It is called the Cosmic Tarot because I channel and go by images that Spirit has guided me to in regards to, um, yeah, just what I'm feeling like. This is one of my, I know people don't like the Nine of Swords, but this is like one of my favorite cards that I created. It's the Nine of Swords. It's the mental trauma coming out of the subconscious rising up and becoming destructive of a kingdom that we built in an illusion. So things like this with my deck, they're not for sale right now, but I will be using them on a regular basis so you guys can see them. This is the Six of Cups. I mean, sorry, Six of Swords. Uh, moving away from into something peaceful. Eight of Cups here, walking away. So yeah, this is my Four of Wands. I'll go through and make a video. This is an Egyptian temple, right? These are the pillars of walking through ancient wisdom and coming to a completion with that. So yeah, I'm going to do a full video of my actual deck, but we're going to use them today for all clarifying and reading today as well. Um, so I'm going to be using Made for Love's Divine Counterparts and Separation. You can find her channel on YouTube. She's amazing. I have my deck, the, tarot, the Cosmic Tarot. I have the Kipper deck. I have the island time messages and we have the wisdom oracle so we're gonna get started right now all right so let's get a move on we're gonna start with the connection between divine masculine and divine feminine energies we're gonna take a look at what is going on in separation we're gonna take a look at karmic energies what is happening with karma and how that is healing out. I can tell you guys there's a lot happening in the collective, so let's get started. Let's take a look at what's going on, Spirit. Please bring down the collective. Thank you. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Energies, please. Let's see where the masculine currently is at. This is a timeless reading, you guys, so whenever you come upon it, take a look. I'm still running a special of reading, so I have been busy with that as well, trying to keep everything in flow, balance. Also, I have two homeschooled kids here at home, so I'm doing everything, you guys. So please bear with me when the when the videos are late. I am doing the best that I can with my own growth as well. So let's take a look here. What is going on with divine masculine energies for the collective spirit? What is going on with divine masculine energies for the collective spirit? Wants me to look at the bottom. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. This masculine is ready to defend, okay? This masculine is ready to defend this connection, ready to um, figure out exactly what this connection is. So let's take a look. What is going on with Divine Masculine in the headspace, please, Spirit? Can we work things out, Divine Feminine? Okay. What's going on, Divine Masculine's heart space? Oh, <laughs> we've got two. I'm going to just take, we'll take a look at that one that came up, but we have the Empress here in the heart space and for some could be caught between two lovers if that karma has not cleared so i will put that at the top i was going to throw it back in the deck but that may apply to some as well so depends on where you are in your journey what is the action of the divine masculine that he wants to take towards divine feminine 
definitely feeling divine feminine, okay? So really wanting to work things out. May have been caught between two lovers in the past, but really um, sitting in this beautiful energy. Okay, action. We've got two cards for action as well. There's hope in his intuition. He's feeling divine feminine, okay? Uh, definitely feeling divine feminine in the action-oriented space. Gosh, these cards are so big. I wonder if I can do it this way. Let's move some stuff. Um, yeah, and so really trying to find the hope and whatnot and the outcome that you, the masculine desires with Divine Feminine. Wow, you guys, life partners, look at the innocence. You know, this is different than any kind of karmic connection that you can actually have. And that's because this is um, life partner stuff. This is, um, you know, innocence. I'm sorry, I'm going to move this didn't realize how big these cards were so we could have a little bit more room so you guys can see and yeah so this is really about life partner stuff this is the innocence this is like the two of everything there's two rabbits here there's two children holding hands it's like they've reclaimed their innocence they've done their inner child healing they're ready to really walk this path here okay really beautiful let's also see what is going on with divine feminine towards the masculine move these a little bit too sorry guys. Uh, I have to change up my setup every time because I do different things when I coach I don't pull as many cards when I coach and I've been doing the readings in between so my setup has to change quite quickly on a I need there, seriously like a studio uh, okay what is going on here with divine feminine towards the masculine what is going with divine feminine thank you spirit in correspondence to the masculine so in divine feminine underneath we have my love for you is deeper than the ocean. Aho, is it ever. Let's take a look at Divine Feminine in her mind. What is she thinking? Our spiritual beliefs are so different. And so this could be too that, you know, uh, Divine Feminine is what I'm getting here is your beliefs aren't different with your masculine. But because of separation, you may believe that because the masculine and you have been in separation the paths may have changed, right? Divine Feminine may have gone off in a different way and worked maybe with other people or has decided to um, leave the path of with the masculine and move into something else or with another partner and vice versa. It could also be with the Divine Masculine may have gone off into a different path. But what I'm getting here is like with this masculine energy mirroring with the feminine saying, can we work it out? It may be bringing feminine back into her path and what her real calling is. Let's see what's going on in her heart space towards Divine Masculine. Wow. Yeah, she's definitely having a rebirth. And this is what I've been feeling. And guys, myself included. So when I get these messages, I'm part of the collective. So this is also for what's happening. Um, I'm taking these messages as spirit brings it through as well. So just know like I'm just the reader here. Okay, it's not like I'm some all knowing human being. I'm just reading um, intuitively, of course, I get very clear messages. But here the rebirth it's and this is what's happening. I feel it's like pulling her back into what her true calling is. And she may have had to go in another way and discover other things during this separation piece in order to rebirth herself. Let's see her actions towards masculine. Wow. She's like, yes, I've been working on my deadly sins here. Yes, I'm ready. I'm transforming. Look at this. I love the red. This is root chakra and sacral really being grounded here by divine feminine. She's really saying all of this dark work that I'm seeing in these cards right now, you know, this red, this fire, this, you know, the devil, the toxic energies, the betrayal, everything she has been healing. This divine feminine is healed. This divine feminine is saying, look. I'm yes, I've transformed. Um, that's my intention. And as I want to continuously transform with the divine masculine here, okay, uh, masculine is using intuition, having a lot of hope, this is really coming into divine feminine saying, Yeah, like I want, I'm healing as well. I've done the dark work. I'm transforming. Let's see outcome. That divine feminine desires. Whew, I'm getting heartburn with divine masculine. Yeah, see, Divine Feminine may be going through some massive drastic changes. There are drastic changes in my life right now. So I feel Divine Feminine has been going through a deeper purification process. And I believe that's because masculine energy is holding Empress energy in the heart. 
could be for some that some are still torn we're going to clarify that so don't worry and really following intuition and knowing that this is the life partner for masculine energy and the outcome here is like it's almost like this recognition divine feminine is feeling it and saying oh my god <laughs> I have to get clear on my spiritual path now. I'm going through a massive rebirth. I'm seeing massive transformation here with divine feminine energies. Let's do the Kipper. Let's take a look at what's going on with the Kipper. Let's see the connection between the two first, though. Spirit wants me to pull one of these. What is the mutual connection between divine feminine and divine masculine? Let me also just make sure that we can maybe move these down a bit. Yes. Yes, Queen Rena, do it that way. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that gives us a lot more space. All right. Let's take a look. What is going on at the connection between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine? What are their both intentions, Spirit? What are the vibrations that they are meeting in right now at the time of this reading? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on? I have a card that's flipped out here, so I'm going to just take a look at it. It says, I'm not ready for what you have to offer, so there may still be some things that are happening between the two but let's take a look what is the energy between divine feminine and divine masculine where, where are they meeting right now spirit the covenant the promise oh thank you this is marriage this is a, a soul contract this is a promise of commitment this is where they know that they have committed themselves in this life to, to come together they have created this uh, union energy together that they're ready for mission they're ready to come together all right let's take a look at what's going on with divine masculine we're going to use the kipper deck we're going to get a little deeper about what's going on with him we're not going to clarify each card spirit just whatever cards want to come through for divine masculine and what he's feeling towards his divine feminine right now i'm going to pull an extra card too with the heart space so overall right now what is going on with divine masculine towards divine feminine in the energies please what is going on we're going to take a look at the bottom as well let's see what spirit wants to say about the overall wow guys marriage okay life partner marriage i'm gonna put that right here um wow there's a waiting here that came out as well an expectation that this there is a delay still with this promise with divine masculine he's still waiting for some things to change in his life could be financial could be kind of setting up foundation because the house is here as well look at this he knows he's the main man and the main female wow 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 this is a new pathway look at this ready to go on a journey for love the lovers i can't make that up okay like that is friggin beautiful right there so we're gonna take that um that he's wanting this marriage here okay we'll just take one because i want to use them for <laughs> i don't use all the cards in the deck so let's let's clarify here what is overall with masculine towards divine feminine spirit we know the marriage is here what is he working on look at this journey came out again ready for this journey towards divine feminine okay let's take a look at the heart space with masculine though what is this torn between two lovers spirit like why is this masculine torn between two lovers for someone in the collective please wow this 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 struggle okay bad health this is also mental health physical health could be manifest in physical health because you know all physical elements are manifested when your energy isn't correct okay so if uh the psychological mental health this torn between two lovers has really caused a lot of issues for divine masculine here um, let's clarify the empress because it was that push and pull trying to move away from soul knowing what his soul desires and also you know wanting to play in karmic at the same time you can't have your cake and eat it too right you have to choose one what is the empress energy here oh such despair so this is what's causing a lot of the health issues for divine masculine this is why he's realized divine masculine I'm in despair. I'm in pain. I want my queen. I want my divine feminine. And when I get pulled into two different directions, uh, this masculine knows. This masculine knows who this feminine is. This masculine knows that he wants a marriage. This masculine knows that he's ready to go on a journey. He's changing. He's healing. He wants to work it out. He knows where the mental health issues are coming from because he was playing in this torn energy. Wow, wow, wow. Let's see what is going on with divine feminine energies, okay? This is a beautiful read, guys. I can see why there has been so much shifting. I would love to hear your comments below. Like, what did you guys go through? Because I went through headaches, like two days straight of headaches. 
um, massive headaches. I don't get migraines at all on my left side. I literally cannot get out of bed. I basically ordered food, skip the dishes, not a promo, okay, <laughs> for my children, because I'm like, I cannot deal. Made the children do the dishes, made the children do all the chores. I couldn't, I couldn't deal. Would love to hear what you guys have been going through because I think there's been massive shift in the collective for sure. Let's see what's going on with Divine Feminine. Overall, Spirit, Divine Feminine towards this gut. Look at this with this promise. Divine Feminine. Look at this. Mature man. I want this mature man. Some of you could be dealing with a wealthy man. Knowing that your masculine is thinking of you. Knowing that she's waiting. Okay. This is inner child healing. That's that life partner aspect. Okay. So there's definitely like a healing that's happening here. So let's take a look she's definitely wanting her much a mature man not little boy energy right honorable chivalry uh you know a decent respect um the sacredness this is a promise this is what god put together let no man put asunder this is what spirit created the two together and only the two will understand it nobody will ever understand that okay that is um, the true meaning of marriage to bring this down to the earth plane to show people that this kind of magical love actually exists. It actually exists. It's real. It's not something, you know, made up. It's not a fantasy. It is something that rational people experience and wakes you up. And this is why this feminine is knowing that she wants it to be mature. She wants her masculine to be mature. Because you have to be mature to be able to handle this kind of promise, this kind of covenant. Let's see what's going on with Divine Feminine towards the masculine overall. Let's see, especially with these deadly sins and the spiritual belief stuff. Let's see what's going on. Divine Feminine. Wow. See, she's changing. This Divine Feminine is changing. This Divine Feminine is knowing, like, okay, like, I seriously need to change the way that I've been doing things. She may be looking deeper at her darker uh, aspects, her sensuality, her sexuality. I'm getting this with the, you know, uh, partnerships, um, how she allows um, different energies into her sacred temple and it doesn't do her good because divine feminines have to remain pure, right? And maybe realizing a partner that you've been with or somebody that you've been dating or, you know, even friends or family, you're like, this is not serving me anymore. I need to transform this. So she's going through massive change here. And and let's clarify one for the spiritual beliefs are so different. Spirit, okay, <laughs> we're gonna just do that all over again. I know poverty came up, but I, I let's just take, take it. Uh, let's just put it back. Okay, spiritual beliefs are so different. Spirit, clarify that for the Divine Feminine. Yeah, see, community. She's like, how do I fit into this community? Um, how do I fit if the, her business is like, for me, I'm a YouTuber, right? Like, how does my business fit in the New Age community? How does, you know, or I'm changing so much out of the New Age community. How do my teachings fit? How do I do my mission? What is... Where is God leading me? Where is spirit leading me? But she's going through a rebirth. I feel like this divine feminine, look at this, the main female is getting very clear. Look at this, distant horizons of where she's moving to in her path. And so this divine feminine is lining up. She's saying, yeah, I'm going to go through this rebirth. I know what I want. She's getting very clear about what she desires. She's like, I'm moving towards. We have two nines here as well. Change is a nine. Changing moving towards a uh, nine here with the distant horizons wow guys really beautiful let's clarify a little bit more what is going on with divine masculine and divine feminine energies first time on my channel my own create i wanted to create a tarot deck since i was in high school okay guys so i'm in my 40s now and I am absolutely realizing, you know, how beautiful it is to see a vision, to create it, and then to have it manifested in your hand. <laughs> so amazing. Let's take a look. I'm going to create more. This is my thing. This is my thing. Um, yeah, I'll create a store eventually, and you guys can see what you, what you want. But for now, I'm just going to use it here. All right, let's see. Let's clarify for Divine Masculine. What is going on with divine masculine here? Let's see. Let's clarify the headspace a little bit. He wants to work things out with divine feminine, okay? Let's take a look. This is divine masculine collective spirit towards the divine feminine. All right. We have justice. Look at this. Justice will be served. And I use this card because uh, it's about balancing of energy. The universe 
is all about balance, right? So it doesn't matter what energy you put out, you will always get that back. Um, even if you're unconscious to it. And this is like masculine and feminine energies coming into that yin yang balance. So this is beautiful with a new offer of love. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. So let's take a look. What is the masculine here wanting to work it out with divine feminine? It's been very imbalanced. We have temperance in reverse. Okay, so very imbalanced right here. We also have, you know, emotionally unstable, not giving himself love. So he's been looking at in where he's investing. I put, um, this is like a, the harvest coming open, finally seeing something that he can harvest here with the divine feminine out of his imbalance, out of his emotional instability. We have the tower in reverse. This is where the delay has been. So divine feminine, if you've been wondering what, like, what is going on? Um, I can feel things shifting, but there's no contact. There's nothing happening. Spirit is like saying, this is just the imbalance and the instability that finally something has manifested this delay and change it's been an internal change spirit is saying a, an internal tower that these two butterflies here the transformation is happening the harvest is breaking out is ready to come forth so masculine energy is really like yes i want to work it out let's see how that's mirroring with divine feminine because her belief systems feel different right now She's going through a rebirth. She's not sure where she fits in community. And so this is like the delay also. So do you see the mirroring in the delay, you guys? There's a delay with divine masculine. Like I'm, I'm, I'm going through massive internal changes here. Emotional instability, very unbalanced. But I'm seeing now the fruits of my labor. I can see where I can harvest something soon. And divine feminine and her response here with divine masculine is coming out of the hangman state. Okay, really um, saying I'm coming out of this. I've gained the enlightenment that I need. Yeah, I'm coming out of a place of apathy. I'm actually starting to put more action into myself and into my work and into my life. And she's holding a very strong sense of strength. I actually created this card um, thinking of my twin. <laughs> so if you guys see this, the tree and the roots, that's how I see him, the strength, very strong. And so this grounded energy is really coming forth uh, for divine feminine energies in regards to how to move forward in her calling and what is this like discrepancy with her belief spirit what is that about Oop. where things have failed in the old past so she may have discovered in her path like okay this methodology doesn't work for me this methodology does and so she's getting really fine-tuned it's taking her back to what she what actually feels like home to her that's what i'm getting wherever things have failed before this is the six of wands you know victory and success coming out of the you know you've worked so hard and you've gone through the dark but things have failed on this mission and so wherever divine feminine went off to she's real she's got refocus on what she really does want and that's why it's refocused back to masculine back to mission and mission and masculine is like okay i think i'm ready to harvest this Let's take a look at where this masculine is and feelings towards divine feminine because we have torn between two lovers and the despair because he was pulled, right? He was having mental health issues, physical health issues, um, despair about his feminine, wanting his feminine, but being torn between someone else, but is creating so much uh, psychological and, and physical health. Um, let's see what's going on with him in his heart space. Let's see what's going on with masculine towards the torn between two lovers card, creating, you know, bad health. Ten of Pentacles. See, it was a commitment. There was a marriage or a commitment. To clarify that. That was causing, yeah, a lot of, wow. Ten of Cups in reverse. When I created the two Ten of Cups, I'm glad this is coming up because I created them very similar, but this is like a drawing. So it's not really real. It's like material stuff, but this is sparkly and beautiful. It's like colorful and a real image. So <laughs> that's how I see it. So that's what it is in my deck. So this Ten of Pentacles in reverse is the commitment is over i mean sorry the commitment there was a commitment here that was in reverse and the ten of cups came in reverse unhappy and this is actually happier i find the ten of cups like you can have money but if you don't have love what's the point right and that's why there's been a massive delay here because this foundation may have looked good on paper to divine masculine right but it's causing a lot of health issues um but what's happening is is putting him in despair about his unhappiness with divine feminine. So how is he feeling towards this despair with divine feminine spirit? Ten of wands, okay, coming out of clearing that now, um, the ten of wands in reverse, you know, it's a long journey. That's a hard journey going down that hill. But here, it's like coming out of that burden and that, that frustration. Four of wands in reverse, knowing that they have to end 
break down a foundation, break down something that may have been a marriage, okay? Divine Feminine, look at this, healing, knowing that they want to heal, okay, and move towards their destiny, all right. Let's take a look at Divine Feminine here with the Rebirth card. We have that she's the main female, she knows that. Divine Feminine is rebirthing her, so she's shifting. So whatever she has shifted in her heart space, it is affecting Divine Masculine, the conflict. She's rebirthing herself out of conflict, okay? She's like, I'm not fighting this anymore. She's rebirthing. She's her childlike self. There's an offer coming here from spirit. She feels an offer. I feel this masculine wants to offer and she's feeling it. She knows. Yeah, she's coming out of her her hermit ways, okay? She's gained the enlightenment. We have the hangman in reverse and the hermit. She's completely aware of certain situations. She's coming into her own enlightenment about it. She feels something coming forward. She feels an offer coming forward. So there's definitely something happening in regards to this. Um, let's clarify that offer. She's coming up, rebirthing herself out of any conflict. I feel she's gotten to a place of real forgiveness, um, integrity. Yeah, look at this, Queen of Cups. Where friendships may have ended, she's using her intuition and her high priestess, the sorceress. I call this the sorceress because, I mean, it's just magical, you know? And so she feels all of these things, even though things have ended, she's using her intuition with the Queen of Cups. She's birthing this. I also put the egg there because it's like, it's a birthing thing. But it's like, um, I'm not going to open, crack this open until I know that you're coming correct. And so she knows Divine Femme, there's this offer coming through. She's rebirthing herself. She's using her intuition where and, and ending anything with other toxic energies in her life. Okay. Let's take a look at Divine Masculine. He's having hope and intuition here. He's ready for a journey that he wants action towards Divine Feminine. He's not fighting this anymore. Wow. Beautiful. He's just listening to his intuition. He's having hope that there's something that's going to be coming out of this. He's not fighting it anymore. His action, there's been a delay and an ending. There's been an internal change is what Spirit is saying. It's an internal death, okay, for this King of Cups to rise up. Okay, isn't he hot? Oh, God, when I made that card, I was like, look at this dude. But anyways, <laughs> death, it's like, um, yeah, just definitely coming out. There may have been a delay in an ending because he was fighting it, okay? But he's following intuition and hope, and this ending has, this transformation has definitely happened on the um, inside, and this just came out, as you see my hand swiped on it, the Six of Cups in reverse, so closing off the past, okay? Okay. Definitely closing off the past. And and what is his action towards Divine Feminine? So he's just rising out of something. You may be feeling it. Yeah, he's slowly moving his way towards Divine Feminine. We have the Knight of Pentacles. All right. Let's take a look at Divine Feminine here because she's been going through. She wants a mature man here. She's looking at her deadly sins. And she's saying yes to massive transformation. Okay, we have King of Pentacles. She feels the instability not only in herself but within herself and the masculine energy inside. Okay. Yeah, but she's letting go of anything. We have Queen of Swords, which is also my karmic card for me. So she's feeling that there is a letting go of these dark, darker energies with the karmic energies. We're going to look at the karmic energies in a minute, okay? But there's definitely an energy that's happening here of divine masculine, divine, fe I mean, sorry, of karmic energy and masculine energy of letting go. And letting them kind of let them sit in their deadly sins. Let them enjoy that. <laughs> you want to be with the devil energy? Be my guest. Divine feminines can't be in that kind of, of energy. It's too toxic, right? Too sensitive feminines, too too sensitive. So let's take a look here. She's letting go of this queen of swords in reverse and her masculine energy. Yeah, she moved on to calmer water. She said yes to herself. She moved on to calmer waters for herself. She let things go. Yeah, she moved on quite quickly. She's like, that's it. Um, I'm moving on. I'm moving on here. So she's definitely chosen herself and said yes to transformation here. And this masculine felt it. It created an internal transformation and make it's making him slowly move towards her and knowing that that's what he wants now. Things have cleared. So let's take a look because now he wants life partnership with the, the divine feminine. So life partnership with divine feminine coming out of regret. Persevering. I love when I created this card. See the five of cups. It's a sad flower, you know, over this petal that's fallen here. But there's like another flower behind not seeing it i think it's really cute <laughs> I'm, I'm one with the earth so and this is like you know she's gained the wisdom here but she's also got her arm up like i'm blocking you i know i'm wise i'm persevering 
okay? I'm wise in where I'm going. Um, and so this masculine may have his guard up, but he's also wise in where he's going and ending his regret. And he's persevering towards life partnership with Divine Feminine. Yeah, he ended a relationship to be here, okay? Some have been trapped where an, a relationship had to end, okay? So this masculine, and that was the torn between two lovers. So that's coming through really clear, you guys. A lot of ending of rela karmic relationships, yeah, ending the pain here for love, okay? Three of Swords in reverse with the Ace of Cups, knowing that I want to fill that cup up. I want that divine love, come that the heavenly water coming in and washing me clean, and that entrapment, knowing that this masculine was trapped. And I love this card. Like, if you look at this, this bird thinks it's trapped. The door is wide open, you know? And so masculine is realizing, like, this was just an illusion. I wasn't really trapped. Um, it was just my own belief systems and my own connection within myself that I wasn't having. And the more that this masculine connected to self, the more they connected and realized, wow, this is divine feminine energy. I'm moving towards chariot, moving towards this, okay? Let's take a look at divine feminine energies in regards to the drastic changes that are happening in divine feminine's life right now. So there's a lot of changes happening. Look at this. She's coming into the empress mode. Beautiful. She has a unicorn in this globe because she's magical. Okay. She can manifest. She is creative. She is highly intuitive. She is manifesting in her world. She knows the changes here. She knows her masculine may also still be blocked here. We have the King of Swords in reversed. But where things weren't aligned, she's also wanting to balance her masculine inside to see things clearly, to move forward. Yeah, she's curious. She's moving. She wants community. She's going to move. She wants communication. But what I'm also getting is like she wants to move and be curious about this new path and moving forward. So she's making the necessary changes to align herself. Okay, there's no renewal happening yet, but she's coming into a divine feminine energy okay yeah masculine's not ready for a renewal yet right now but they're both coming on i'm seeing like they're both coming onto the same pages all right let's see some messages here for divine feminine divine masculine then we're going to move into um divine masculine towards the karmic and what's going on with the karmic towards the divine masculine and uh yeah i think that will be it but let's take a look here what is going on with Divine Masculine towards Divine Feminine right now? What is going on with Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine right now? Oh my God, I hope you guys love my deck. I would love to hear what you guys think of them. They're very magical, mystical type of energies. <laughs> um, what is going on with Divine Masculine towards Divine Feminine? Thank you. Let's get, yeah, let's get to it. Wow, look at this. He's, wow, guys. A 1 and a 19. That makes 11, okay? 1 and a one and a 10, which is also 1-1, one, one, okay? So we have Yang definitely coming into divine masculine energy, taking direction, knowing his masculine energy, rising up, okay? And learning to be flexible with the feminine. This is feminine energy. This is also a 20, sorry, which is a, sorry, I thought this was a nine plus, so yeah, that's a 10, sorry, not a 20. That's a nine, so that's a, a 10, so it's a one. So one, one, 11, synchronicities right there, being very flexible with this path okay let's see what is going on with divine feminine energy towards the masculine what is going on with divine feminine energy towards the masculine i'm going to get some other messages with the island wellness and then we're going to like take a look at the karmic energies okay what is going on with divine feminine towards the masculine please for the collective please spirit one more thank you Look at this. She's expecting a message in a bottle. So there is messaging that's going to be happening. Either if it's your pull to do it or you're waiting for masculine to do it, you know that there's going to be communication coming in soon. That's a six. That is a lover's card. That is a love message. That is something coming in on the wings of this bird, which I'm not sure what it is, but there's definitely um, a message of love. The lover's card manifestation. We also have divine feminine cleaning up her energy, cleaning it up three. We saw that with the renewal. She's cleaning everything up. Any like doubt or any like things that try to persuade her off her path or anything that she's like, this is never going to happen or anything like paint. She's really cleaning herself up and really rising in herself. So awesome. Okay. I'm going to clean this up and we're going to 
I'm just going to pause it for a second and we are going to go and do the uh, masculine and karmic energies in just one Not a second. I'm just going to pause it. It'll just be a blip for you. Okay, I wanted to still do the um, Island Tarot. Um, I wanted to get some messages from masculine to feminine and feminine to masculine before we move into the karmic energy. So we're going to do that now. Um, because I was going to do it in the last one, but it was too messy and I wanted it to be very clear so you guys could see it. So let's do that. Let's see what is going on with divine masculine messages towards the divine. I can't wait till my message cards come in because then they'll be kick ass. But let's see what is going on with divine masculine messages towards divine feminine right now. Spirit for the collective. Gosh, this masculine is really clear. The masculines are clearing, guys very clearing heavy karma is really coming into their own okay let's see the messages what would masculine energy like to say to divine feminine right now spirit i'm gonna take a look at the bottom as well he's healing his heart okay healing the heart to be this sturdy this sturdy um palm tree okay let's take a look what is going on divine masculine towards divine feminine what messages would he like to say one more thank you wow okay wow so this masculine is saying here we're going to clarify in a minute to divine feminine i was addicted in my head there was an addiction and codependency pattern that was playing out could be you know alcohol drugs sex uh, a person whatever job work can also be very karmic but it was you know a very controlling thing that was blocking divine masculine that was blocking him we're going to go into it a little deeper in his heart masculine is saying i really want this happiness with you divine feminine expansion and joy Okay, um, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other, really wanting to do that. Um, and here, like the mask here, his action, he's saying, I wasn't showing you my true feelings. Was hiding my personality, pretending, deluding, gaslighting. And this was what kept him kept safe, right? This codependent stuff comes from childhood, right? This stuff we learn from society, family, it's how the society lives. Okay, I don't care if someone's ever had trauma, you're still going to have these issues because that's how the society has conditioned us. That's how the world conditions us. We're not taught to speak to the trees and the animals, okay? Like, that's our true essence. Um, so, yeah, fearful of these feelings, okay? Created addictive behaviors. But this masculine saying, I've come into clarity and truth and revelation within myself. So this masculine has moved through. Let's see divine feminine. How divine feminine, I'm going to put this like this and we're going to see how she responds. Divine feminine underneath, okay? And how is she marrying? And what would the feminine energy like to, how is she complementing the masculine energy right now, spirit? What is going on? Yeah, I think the mirroring is very important. I think my readings are going to get more into that about how it's actually mirroring. Um, yeah. Let's take a look. What is going on with Divine Feminine Energies right now, please, Spirit? Let's see the bottom for Divine Feminine. Look at this. She's like, I know you're my twin flame. I know. Like, you know, this feminine's coming into recognition. Like, do lighthearted finding out things. Things are coming to light. And this could have been the change in her path. She may have doubted the connection because nothing was happening. She could have moved on. She could have dated. She could have whatever the case um moved off path and and now is getting pulled back into this connection because this masculine i feel is pulling divine feminine through um this masculine's had massive awakening and so obviously you can only stretch so far with your twin right you're on the same elastic you're the same soul so it's you can't run very far from your own soul so let's see what is this addiction for divine feminine towards the masculine what is divine feminine saying here in regards to the addiction piece and within herself and her mind what is going on with divine feminine thank you we have separation here in the heart seduction okay so this feminine could have been also very sedu seductive flirting playing you know uh how feminines learn distorted feminines all about like what sexy provocative but not owning it's okay to own your sex sexiness and your sensuality but not in a way that 
um, it's to lure and to hook up or to tempt or to control. That's a distortive feminine energy. That's how feminines learn um, how to be. It's like we have to use our sexiness in order to hook somebody. And that's and that not be, might not be what you're doing, but there's something in a seduction um, in your attraction, flirting, dating, third party interference. That could have been this third party, whatever energy you were holding um, in a distorted feminine aspect created uh, this addiction, mirroring and masculine, the mirror and the, and the mirroring from masculine created that maybe you weren't looking a certain way or you had to be a certain type of woman or it created a third party situation. So there's a mirroring that's happening there within a lack within both of you. Here in the feeling place, the masculine is like, I want happiness and joy and expansion, enjoying each other. And this uh, feminine is still feeling the, the brooks of the um, separation here, sadness, missing, thinking of you, yearning. So there's still some healing here that feminine has been trying to go through. I feel the masculines have really risen to a point that are somewhat pulling the feminines up right now. Wow. Okay. So let's take a look at this one and this one. So feminine energy. Wow. She, see the feminine, because they're putting, she's putting ending new beginnings, growth and change and liberation transition. Feminine energy is putting an end to this type of energy, being okay with separation, being okay that the separation is needed to heal and knowing whatever she's been doing with her own attraction, with her own flirt, with her own dating life, how she's intimate in relationships. All those things are very important. Betrayal in the family lineage, how she's betrayed herself in sexuality, how she's betrayed herself in dating, how she's betrayed herself in relationships and realizing this, this separation was needed for this ending. As she's doing that, masculine is really gaining clarity about addictions and third party situations and, and knowing about, uh, you know, what's happiness and why this mask was put in place here and divine feminines we have here stabbed in the bar back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deceit. So this is also putting an end and knowing that she is healing this uh, stabbed in the back. Okay. Let's get a little bit more clarity, but I wanted to get those messages through too before we move into um, the karmic energies. Then we're going to move into the karmic energies, and then that that will be the reading. So again, I'm sorry if you hear my children. I do have two teenagers, so bear in mind <laughs> we are in lockdown in Ontario. So everything's online and we live in a condo and it's driving me insane. I've been working out in the stairwell like it's ridiculous all right let's see what is going on here with my masculine and divine feminine energies okay so let's take a look here let's see how they're mirroring with this uh codependent stuff and I feel it's good it's healing right now because this masculine is seen clearly so let's see where the energies are right now with this addiction here spirit we have here underneath we have the hierophant Okay, commitment. Wow. Ace of Pentacles, standing your ground. Okay. Four of Wands in reverse, things falling, certain foundations falling apart. So let's take a look. Let's get a card here for masculine. Masculine with this addiction. Wow. Betrayal, Ten of Swords in reverse. And I did that with the moth. Okay, because the moth is massive transformation and being okay in the darkness and becoming illuminated of these addictions as well. Okay, let's see about divine feminine with seduction. Wow, three of pentacles. Okay, so she, this feminine is really working on certain aspects within herself um, in regards to like here, like this seduction piece, this, uh, this masculine is learning at cleaning up the betrayal in his life. And this feminine is working at old, di uh, distorted feminine energies in her life, okay? What seduction is, what all of this attraction stuff, all the woo-woo stuff. And she's working really hard at building something within herself to heal that. And that's helping masculine end these old betrayals and clean them up in his life that where there's codependent factors, karmic energies, addictions, all of that. Beautiful. This masculine in his heart feels happiness and expansion and joy because he's released a lot of these things here. We have hanged one. He's got the um, the hanged one, which is, you know, actually understanding right now, um, gaining a massive amount of enlightenment. He couldn't move because he wanted to recognize 
the, what this all was. So this masculine has taken time to self in order to learn how to uh, feel this happiness as he's healing and cleaning up the betrayal, okay? And as he's been doing that, this feminine is deaf. I'm just checking the camera, guys. Yeah, this feminine is definitely starting to feel what this separation was like and why this was needed too in the heart space, okay? So let's get a card for Divine Feminine. Yeah, look at this. It's making her contemplate Two of Wands how to move forward in her life now. How am I going to move forward? And being okay with the separation, I'm healing this distorted feminine energy, I'm working hard on myself, and I'm really definitely moving forward in my life, even while in separation. It's giving a lot of um, insight to Divine Masculine what the happiness is. This masculine is getting a lot of insight, okay? He, masculine is also knowing there was a mask that, the, that he was wearing, okay? So let's take a look at that mask. What is that mask? Yeah, that's why the chariot is in reverse, not being able to move, okay? Because he wasn't being honest with feelings, with... Um, what he knew of the connection, wanting to stay in old patterns, right? We always try to, with the twin flame connection, <laughs> try to keep to how we lived in the past because that's what that's what builds our abundance. That's what we know. That's how our structure was. It doesn't work when you meet your twin, right? It doesn't work when you meet your twin. But because this feminine energy has put an end to all of this distorted feminine energy and working on that transformation. Look at this, the devil in reverse. And I created this devil card. I want to explain a little. See how there's white? Because the devil will mask itself in a beautiful white light and make you think that it's real when it's not right? You have to become very discerned and have a very strong relationship with God to know who you're actually working with. This feminine knows. These, whoever's watching this, you guys know, all right? You are ending this devil energy. You're like, nah, I'm done. I'm done with toxicity. I'm done with the seduction and all the sexual bullshit. I'm done with, you know, the separation. I'm okay with the separation. I know how I have to move forward. I'm ending toxicity. I'm working really hard to building myself up. This is also about you know, new contracts and people may be coming in for Divine Feminine and how to work together. This is also building something and knowing that she's deserving of that. Let's take a look at Divine Masculine here with gaining a lot of clarity. That's why he wasn't moving. This masculine knows he was wearing a mask, right? Because this feminine couldn't be honest in herself. This, all this stuff had to end for Divine Feminine as well for Masculine to take the mask off because he's physically the manifestation of the emotion of the feminine, right? That's what masculines do. And then when masculines mirror within and tap into the feminine within, the feminine will act and take over the masculine role and be the physical manifestation of the masculine energy. That's how they work together from the inside. This is this is why it's such a holy connection, right? So this, this understanding of how they're working on the inside together is actually coming into fruition. I feel that very strongly. And no other person can, can do that. Only your twin can do that. Okay, so let's see, this masculine is coming into a very deep clarity here about a revelation about what this is, what this connection is. Look at this, the wheel. The energy is spinning. The energy is bringing a massive amount of clarity here. And this feminine energy is healing this heartbreak. Clarify this heartbreak and stab in the back. I don't think she cares anymore. Yeah, she's getting off that path. Okay, she's not fighting it anymore. That is Page of Wands in reverse. She's getting off that old path. That's the old vibration. That's the old spiritual path. I don't want that. And because she's not dealing with the betrayal aspect, she doesn't care anymore. She, I don't care about the betrayal anymore. I don't care. I was stabbed in the back. That was because all of this other shit was happening. This feminine has gained a massive amount of understanding. And it's okay. And that's why the wheel and fate and God is coming in now because they're both gained a level of clarity. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, guys, let's take a look at the karmic energies. And that is going to be your reading for today. Don't forget, if you want to book a reading with me, it's a limited offer until the 31st of January. You can book at any time in the next year you're reading you just that offer link is not going to be able to be available after january 31st i can't do too many readings plus i'm going to mexico in march i have my moon dance coming and still working on a retreat <laughs> this COVID thing is really causing us issues but all right let's take a look here so if you want to get on the list for an ayahuasca retreat to email me we will be sending emails when updates come out okay 
All right, Whew. let's take a look at Divine Masculine Energy and the Karmic Energy Spirit. Let's take a look at the Kipper deck. We're going to see what is coming through for... We're going to see the connection between Divine Masculine and Karmic Energy. Thank you. Let's take a look at the connection between the karmic energies for the collective spirit and the divine masculine energies. Thank you. Or divine feminine. Um, because um, divine feminine can be in karmic too, so I don't. <laughs> Let's just say, spirit, this is whoever's watching this who's dealing with the karmic situation. I usually say divine masculine because most 99% of my viewers are women. All right. Let's take a look. What is going on with masculine energy and karmic energies and whoever is watching this? Okay. We have courtship is the energy and thoughts about another person. Okay. That's what's connecting them. Let's see. Masculine's mind space. A sudden change. Karmic's mind space. Imprisonment. This, this karmic feels completely imprisoned here. Completely. Heart space. Masculine towards karmic. Lovers, relationship. Okay, that can also be friends in this in this deck. What is going on heart space for karmic? Privileged lady. Wow, look at this. Don't gotta work for nothing. Privileged lady just sits back and lets everyone do everything for her. <laughs> that's not a hardworking uh, person, okay? That's somebody who just wants to reap the benefits. Um, action oriented. Uh, this masculine is going for high honor, okay? Action oriented for karmic messages. And outcome for masculine, family. Okay, this is family is very important to this masculine. All right, may not be getting that with the karmic energy. Um, let me take a look here. And outcome for karmic energies, community. I feel like how is this going to affect the, the community? How is this going to be? Let's take a look at the island time tarot. And then we're going to or the Island Time Wellness card, sorry, message cards, then we are going to make sure you guys can see that. Sorry, guys. I just want to really make sure that it's, yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Let's see. What is going on with masculine and karmic energies or twin flame and karmic, whoever's watching this, but I'm sorry, my, I'm going to be saying divine masculine because of the amount of viewers are female that are watching this. So what is going on with masculine energy and karmic energy? Thank you. Let's go with masculine and karmic energies. Thank you. Okay, we have <laughs> stabbed in the back. That fell out here for the courtship. Okay, so some betrayal in this connection. Now, this courtship is, it's romantic, it's not romantic. I mean, it's kind of funny because this woman's face, I mean, she's like, I don't know. I don't know if I really want this. Like, what is this? There's been some backstabbing that's happened here. We also have here that this masculine is thinking about another woman. Okay, see the painting here? There's a lot of thoughts that are happening, thinking your mind is going elsewhere. There's a clean canvas, and this masculine wants to date. Okay, so this karmic energy feels betrayed already. All right, let's take a look. What is this unexpected income? It could be a sudden drop of wealth, um, but it's also a surprise. Okay, so this masculine surprised the karmic somehow. Surprise the karmic with what, pray tell, with a new phase, with rekindle, renewal, transformation, and growth. I've changed my mind. I want you no more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to laugh, you guys, but I mean, if you're in alignment with God, I mean, you kind of have to laugh at certain things. Like, you just do. And you're not laughing at someone's pain. You're laughing at... Yeah, I told you so. Not even that. It's just like, yeah, well, I mean, you got to find the humor and everything. So this masculine is rising and saying, look, I can't do this anymore. I've changed my mind. And this this karmic energy feels very imprisoned, very imprisoned by this twin flame connection. Yeah, because you can't take away what God has created. It feels completely trapped by this connection. Can't move anywhere. Can't do anything, you know, in another time, another place. If the twin wasn't incarnated, well, then, yeah, maybe it could have worked, but... No. So this masculine, and look at the boat underneath going to calmer waters, right? So let's take a look at the lovers here. The masculine energy in his heart is with this lover's energy. And look, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. This masculine already feels the feminine. And we saw that in the earlier part. He was feeling the empress and being torn between two lovers, right? 
So knowing that it's causing a lot of mental health issues for him and knowing who actually holds the key to his heart and welcoming this new love. And this privileged lady here, this karmic energy is kind of like feeling a little privileged. Well, you did everything for me. Sorry. You know what? Divine feminines know how to work. Divine feminines know how to hustle. All right. Divine feminines have had a hard life. Karmic energies, you still got some growth to do, darling. I'm sorry that your privilege is going away. Let's take, let's take a look at that. Yeah, see, this is a soulmate connection that brought a lot of paradise to this person. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract, happiness, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. This is what the karmic wanted, but it wasn't making the masculine happy. But this is a selfish energy because karmics do not know how to properly give. They cry to cling and delay things because it's all about what they can get. That's what a privileged person does. Uh, what can I get out of a relationship? That's selfishness. That's not real love. Real love is how much can I give without expectation. I, when I give to you, it doesn't mean that I need anything back in return. It means that I love you so much. I'm just giving to you and it, it is what it is. This person is selfish. This person has no idea. That's how you actually love. They only give because they expect something in return. That's privilege. That's selfishness. Let's take a look here. Masculine is holding a high honor in his actions. He's holding integrity because he's healing his heart. He's keeping his vibration pure from karmic energies. He's healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships. This masculine has left the karmic energies, okay? We're going to clarify to see what comes up, but so far what I'm getting is definitely, it's, it's so plain as day. Can you see it? Oh my God, this setup looks so beautiful. It's completely <laughs> um, holding a high honor for himself, finally, and saying, I deserve the best. I have gone through hell in my life. I deserve the best. And I've, I'm healing from this, healing from this toxic connection. This karmic is trying to message the shit out of the masculine because she's heartbroken, Okay. I'm hurting so bad. I'm grieving. I'm, this is never going to stop. <laughs> I'm just going to say this karmic will hang on to this and keep worry and shame and guilt and make it seem like they're going to cause trouble just to keep the masculine in a place of control because this, this, this person is privileged. They don't want this to end, right? They don't want to work. They don't want to work for themselves. So what? You got a nice little cushy job. In, in the system great go start a business tell me how you how that works for you um, <laughs> um you got child support great great how about the divine feminines that don't get that okay just talking from experience guys you know feminines have to work hard this is a sacred connection ship god does not bring twin flames together until you do the hard ass work it's just how it is in life you have to do it. If you want pure divine connection with your twin, you have to do the work. You don't get to sit like this privileged lady sitting on her ass, eating biscuits and tea and not worrying about anything. And so this is a control factor I'm picking up on. And this masculine is holding high honor, like screw off. I want to heal my heart. And this is heartbreaking. Like I'm trying to move on because I know who holds this for me. But, you know, we're going to see if they keep getting this masculine is getting pulled because this karmic energy is like, please, man, I can't deal. I can't do it. I mean, no, no, no. Where am I going to live? Well, some of these people have been in marriages for a long time. Where am I going to live? Who am I going to be with? It's also affecting community. How is it going to look to everybody? Because I said that this was, uh, look, see, trying to use seduction to seduce the masculine. How is this going to look? We said that we're meant to be. Um, we and we stepped over all kinds of people for this, right? Masculine wants family though, wants uh, wants a close knit. Yeah, look at this lightning. Children could be involved, but what I'm getting is getting very close and creating this, you know, family home life. This this want this masculine wants stability, having a massive awakening, sudden change, shocking news, surprising epiphany upheaval transformation of who his person is and what he wants can't not going to get it with this karmic energy just not going to get it we're going to use my deck and we'll use yeah let's take a look let's clarify guys we're going to clarify a little further wow this looks great this looks really good Whew. all right is going on here between divine masculine and karmic energies please spirit 
what is going on between divine masculine and karmic energies please spirit thank you what is going on with karmic energies thank you all right let's see courtship gets judgment there's a renewal happening in this connection okay the stabbing in the back had to happen in this karmic situation okay had to happen because there's a complete renewal god has come in that spirit has come in and saying there's a renewal happening here look at this a relationship the lovers this masculine cannot stop thinking about this divine feminine and this is like moving away i did this lover's card because it's like look there's other twins there's another set of twin flames over here <laughs> and they're moving away from what doesn't serve them and helping each other look how beautiful that they're helping each other in their connection to make the choices together to move into something harmonious okay so this masculine is definitely thinking about divine feminine energies here and wanting to date and wanting to start friendships and wanting to communicate and um this yeah so let's take a look divine masculine he's rejecting anything from this karmic energy okay so this divine masculine is rejecting anything that is coming from this karmic okay he's changed his mind karmic feels imprisoned in this relationship because of this twin flame connection okay knowing that she's never this karmic energy will never be in a twin flame connection like with this person is not her twin flame and this will feel imprisoned all the time and stuck because the divine feminine will always hold that like it just it is what it is masculine knows that he's upset ten of cups in reverse came out again you guys okay so this is the lovers ten of cups in reverse knowing like i'm sad because i know who actually holds the key to my heart the privileged lady, what, oh yeah, look at this, four cups, sad about what they've lost, okay? This privileged lady has lost and sad about what they've lost, regretful because this was, you know, set up for life, never have to work again and just spend money. Yeah, well, sorry about it or just have someone just being well taken care of. I don't actually have to work that hard. Sorry about it. Sorry about it. That's just, you can't, you guys. We have to put in the brunt work into our lives. It's just a thing. Um, yeah, so masculine knows, definitely knows, rejecting anything coming. This masculine is very strong, okay? Having a high honor. Look at this. The investment card again, reaping, ready to sow. Uh, sorry, the seeds have been sown, ready to harvest and get all of this. Look at these two butterflies, the transformation, the tree coming out of the egg. It's like new birth, new life, new prosperity, holding a high honor that when he's ready, waiting, when he's ready to harvest this, his heart is healing from this narcissistic, crazy ass, dramatic situation. And knowing when he heals, he holds a high honor for his connections and how they're moving forward okay oh i didn't get one underneath here oh yeah i did the lovers sorry i didn't see that okay and so what is going on here this this karmic is trying to manipulate by all the messages i can't deal knowing that this karmic has to move on okay things are moving too quickly for this karmic but that's just too bad deal with it everyone has their i mean someone there's a child starving on the, on the planet can you not look at your theory of relativity you know you have to use theory of relativity i love einstein's work you have to look at theory of relativity i apply it to spirituality someone's always got it better someone's always got it worse so you know what get over this seduction thing of trying to hang on to things move on with your life and realize there are starving children on the planet and someone has it a lot worse than you heal just heal and move on this masculine is holding a high honor and not wanting to be seduced by that okay let's take a look here we have the empress in reverse awakened to this empress and being at a distance and not you know nothing is birthing in his life wanting to bring this family together with divine feminine empress because feminines can heal anything so if there's been family issues or things with the children or things in divine masculine's life with co-workers or whatever else this feminine can come in. He's been keeping this at a distance and realizing that this keeping this at a distance is not bringing healing energy into his life. Karmic energies, afraid about what is going the community going to think, trying to seduce the masculine. What is everyone going to think? 
trying to use the exterior gratification of like, what are people going to think? I don't know how to explain this because I boasted about how we were perfectly made for each other and now it's not. And oh my God, we're married. And we told them this is like, God brought us together. This, this, this karmic lied about everything. Okay. Because the devil, toxic energies, making things out of what they aren't really. Okay. So yeah, let's clarify a little bit more because I want to get into, um, what is actually happening here with this manipulation? Because I'm feeling with this Eight of Wands in the message, the karmic is really trying to manipulate. Yeah, this karmic does see things very clearly that they're going to be single. A decision has been made, okay? So there is going to be being single, but they're still trying to hang on to this seduction and this devil. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Being a shady fuck. Seriously, I can't. I can't deal with karmic energies anymore in my life. It's like, get the fuck out. I can't deal. I'm like over it. Like, bye. As soon as I see it, I, I disconnect completely. I don't care who you are. <laughs> I'm just done. I'm too pure and too soft to deal with that shit anymore. Um, yeah, seven of swords here. The devil, see? Trying to plan and use this, like, but we have, we built a community. What are people going to think? We can't just leave them. We can't just, you know, let God's coming in and changing that shit up. To hold strength okay so don't worry let's see how masculine is dealing with this what is Matt how is masculine dealing with this karmic energy and holding a high honor for himself as he's healing as he's oh wait till it stops spinning we're gonna take it this way um ace of pentacles in reverse it's unrequited love with the karmic okay yeah feeling trapped it's trapped it's unrequited i don't want to be trapped um yeah not offering anything to this karmic not even a damn apology or a page or nothing it's too emotionally unstable for the masculine energy wanting union coming to the finish line this is also the four of wands not just about union and and it's like coming finally to a finish line finally accomplishing something finally like ready to like marry and build something and finally coming to the end of this okay notice knowing that um yeah the fears and the moon and using intuition whatever fears of this foundation it's like entrapment here and it's unrequited love and, and knowing that this investment and waiting for this to come about is very emotionally unstable and so this outcome what is this empress here having this awakening in regards to the empress coming towards the divine feminine okay knight of swords coming towards the divine feminine saying i want this letting his guard down way it's weighing too heavy i don't want to step over people anymore to get what i want i don't want to hurt people too many people have been hurt with this karmic energy i don't want to hurt people anymore because to get to this to build this you have to fight you have to hurt people you have to step over people it does not feel good the karmic doesn't care right because karmic's here in this in this in this devil energy right karmic doesn't care look i want the spiritual path having heated discussions with the masculine energy this masculine is awakened to divine feminine saying i'm letting the guard down i'm coming towards you i want family with you i want to build something i'm coming close look using intuition the high priestess hiding it from the karmic energies as well yeah see hiding it from the karmic <laughs> ending cycles the world okay she's like mother earth to me look at that beautiful ending it sorceress which is the high priestess in, the, in my deck with blocking the queen of swords, which is karmic, just how the cards read to me, which is karmic energies. Okay, I mean, she's a beautiful queen of swords though, right? But blocking this and hiding this um, from the karmic as he's waiting for the ending to finally happen so that he can move towards, towards divine feminine. Wow. Whew, wow. That was some messages. Let's get some final messages here. For divine masculine towards the karmic and the karmic towards the masculine and that will be the reading guys that's what's happening lots of shifts guys i knew i was feeling stuff you know i knew that this was something else i don't get migraines you know i don't get migraines so it was very prominent i knew shifts were happening let's take a look here what is going on with Divine masculine energy towards the karmic energy. <laughs> to the sea. I'm getting in that boat and I'm getting away. <laughs> All right, let's see. Masculine energy towards the karmic. Masculine energy towards the karmic. 
Yeah, see, there's still some unfinished business that's happening here, here and now, but this masculine staying very present in this moment, knowing that there might still be some unfinished, but it's out of 10. They're right at the ending of things, okay? That's why this karmic is getting a little, like, flustered and trying to use everything to just try and, you know, because she, they're a privileged person and um, the community and trying to seduce. But this masculine standing very strong. Let's see about the karmic energies. Um, that there might still be some unfinished business. We're going to clarify what the unfinished business is, okay? It may just be selling a house or moving or it could be, you know, um, maybe they had a business together and ending that. Who knows? But there's some final details, but there definitely is an ending here, right? The death with the masculines, massive change, murder of crows, right? Which is about change, it's transformation. Let's take a look. Karmic energies. Actually, I want to reshuffle that. I wasn't quite ready for that. So just give me a second. Karmic energies towards the masculine. Sorry, too many came out and then I wasn't thinking straight. Whew. Thank you, spirit. I wanted to cut it too and I didn't do that. What is going on with karmic energies towards the masculine? Karmic energies towards the masculine. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, I like to feel it. <laughs> it has to feel a certain way. I'm so sensitive to energy. I can feel what energy is coming through my hands into the cards. Uh, karmic energies towards masculine come to the edge okay so the she's trying to ask masculine to come closer okay this is the seduction thing that's happening because she can't deal with her own pain whatever what's karmic energies yeah thank you spirit yeah see there's a higher power that's coming in okay there's god coming in and directing this for her for this to go out to the sea and do your own thing and to leave things behind because fate has come in okay into this connection so yeah let's see what what this unfinished business is because there is still something that's unfinished that's keeping us karmic energy um tied knowing that they have to leave but there anything you give a karmic energy and for any masculines that are watching this you got to cut that shit cold because a, you give a little there's an old saying in my culture or Guyanese culture you give them one foot them a tech one yard you give them one little piece they're going to take a lot that's what karmic energies do because this person is privileged Okay, this person doesn't want to shift and change. So if you give just a little bit, what are they going to do? They're going to take it and run it out. It's going to like just take things. It's just going to draw things out. All right, so masculines have to be really, really, because uh, masculines are very sensitive. They want to help, but sometimes you can't. You've got to lay that line down, right? Let's see. What is this unfinished business for masculine energy? I want to cut the deck. Whew, thank you. Yeah, what, are, what is this unfinished business for masculine energy towards the karma? They're trying to stay present. You know, they're doing their best to stay present. It's about their path, hobbies, what, what brings them passion, okay? Wow, somebody was stealing. Thief. Either stole divine feminine from them or stole money from them, right? Because this person's privileged, okay? Knowing that they, they have to, it's about a hobby or something. Maybe they created a business together, but there's something that this person was stealing. What's this occupation? Yeah, this person may have, you know, it could be like sudden wealth or there's a lot of money or prosperity that started to come in and this person started to steal. Okay, it could also be that divine feminine was the gift from God and how to work together and create something together. And this person, this karmic came in and stole that. Um, by being manipulative and let's see how that's corresponding to the karmic energies yeah because this person is in poverty consciousness okay i can't make that up you guys person is in a lack mentality and wants it all okay masculine is aware of that but is cleaning this up how else is masculine cleaning it up oh look at this courthouse see some of them may be going to court needing to sell a house they need to sell property. So that's what's happening. That's the unfinished business. It's, it's, it's something else is happening. Yeah, for this great fortune. So this is all about money, you guys. That's why that privileged lady was up. Can't make it up. All right, guys. Comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to comment down below. I'd love to hear what you thought about this. And I will be back again with more videos, you guys. Thank you for your patience and your, and your love. And I love you guys. Don't forget the limited offer for a reading. If this resonated, book it. It's a one-hour Zoom call with me. And you get a recording. So much love. Bye, guys.